Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. We're live again for another another stream uh, of Halloween 2023. It's a short season of three streams. So on Monday we um, we had a go at Vampire Survivors. Um, so we had kind of a, uh, a horror fantasia um, action game, I suppose. Would you call it an action game? You're mostly avoiding action. Maybe. Um, but we, we had a good go at that, and uh, lots of exciting things happened, um, including meeting an old man with garlic breath. That was probably the highlight. And then today, we're going to head into um, a space for some cold clinical sci-fi horror with um, with Project Firestart. It's definitely got a, a distinct B-movie vibe. Now, this is a... Commodore 64 game. It was only ever released on the Commodore 64 in 1989, so uh, very much at the end of the the life cycle of that particular um, that particular computer. Um, and yeah, I think uh, the time it was released, it was um, probably in in gameplay design terms ahead of its time, and kind of uh, in terms of the choice of development platform and release platform. Um, probably totally overlooked at the time. Uh, it probably didn't have a very long shelf life, um, and hence didn't didn't get ported to any other systems. It hasn't um, hasn't reappeared since, as uh, as far as I'm aware. But it is um, sort of a part of the collective, the the nascent um, uh, genesis of survival horror games, um, and we'll we'll have a look at perhaps how that works in a little bit but first of all I just want to do a little little intro because I've got the uh, oh, I suppose on a technical level let's just say I have don't have a, an actual uh, C64 here I am emulating through Vice um, I do have the PDF of the manual here and it might you might find it interesting for me to read the um, the brief uh, preface that the um, the short instruction manual gives us so here we go product fire start dot 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 began on February 13th 2066 the day before Valentine's Day aboard the research ship Prometheus financed by the System Science Foundation SSF an agency of the United System States USS the project's goal was to produce strong durable laborers capable of helping belters mine titanium and iridium on selected moons and asteroids I assume belters are people who work. Uh, as the asteroid belt. Probably. No. Although, although first generation genetic reshaping is extremely hazardous. It yes, I'm not surprised. It was allowed because the geneticists involved were required to follow strict safeguards, guaranteeing tight control over the experiment's end product. But the Prometheus no longer responds. The safeguards must have been breached. If they have, Firestart is out of control. The SSF has assigned you to clean up the mess. There you go. And then some loading instructions. Um, and I will... You know what, I'm going to keep it on the keyboard commands... ...section. Oh, uh... Okay. Yes, yes, so I can see that. I'm going to pop that down because that's covering chat at the moment. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I hope this is looking and sounding okay. Um, I need to boot the game up, so I'm going to be doing that in the background while we chat for a second longer. Uh, you shouldn't shouldn't hear anything untoward until um, uh, I toward you to the game audio. You'll just be hearing the, um, the ambient track in the background. Um, I'm going to get this starting. Yep, this is working. Um, I I th think this might be my first uh, C64 game for a Let's Play of any kind. Uh, I've While I have got Vice up and running um, here, um, I don't find C64 emulation the easiest. Uh, like compared to kind of a um, 
uh, a competitor of it, it's Apple II, which I've, I've played several Apple II games. They're, they're pretty easy to emulate, but um, the old tape loading emulation is, is a little more uh, troublesome, I would say. Okay, we're just about there. I'm going to do some... We're going to definitely have to do some virtual tape swapping during the course of this. Um, so we will we'll have little pauses. Oh, there's somebody opposing Ligamu. Just don't do this. No. Can I? How can how can I moderate this? How can I? I want to moderate you. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Well, ignore ignore uh, ignore the spam in chat uh, for the moment while I load this up. Um, what do we want? What do we want? We want an, we want this disc. I'm pretty sure we want this disc. Okay, uh, spacebar to continue. Okay, this is working. Let me switch over to here. You should be able to see. Oh, we're in we're in pink text in the chat box. That's good. Right, EA. Before it got you know significantly more evil. Uh, and oh, sorry, here is the yes. Okay, everything should be up and running. I'm not quite sure what that says. EGA presents a Dynamics production. Prometheus, come in. Prometheus, come in. Just sliding along on our office chair here. That's a, yeah, that's a futuristic design, isn't it? Project Firestart. Director, Jeff Tunnell. Design, Jeff Tunnell. Damon Sly. Programming, Paul Bowman. Derek Wukashuk. That's my best guess at that. Rich Royal. Artwork, John Burton. It's Derek again, I'm not going to mispronounce your surname again. Sound and music, Alan McKean. Producer, Shelley Safir. Assistant producer, Roland Kippenhan. Starring Kevin Ahrens as John, Jody Burton as Mary, and Dan O'Tell as Anar. Um, which I think, I mean, that there is no, there are no vocal performances in this, so I'm suggesting they probably did, they probably rotoscoped the um, the characters for this, is what I'm thinking. There's more intro to come. Hold your horses. Saturn, September 12, 2061, 9:32. Titan. SSF, research vessel, the Prometheus. Oh, somebody had a heavy night. USS, system base, Ukenke, September 13, 2061, 10, 34. SI agent John Hawking. I think that's us. I think we're John Hawking. John, you gotta find out what went wrong. We're sure the science log will be located somewhere in the Firestart Labs. I have faxed you a copy of the Prometheus's lab. Your route is marked in yellow. Since this was a genetic experiment, we can't take any chances on system contamination. Go to the bridge to set self-destruct, then get the hell out of there. If we don't hear from you within two hours of your rendezvous, we must assume the worst happened and set self-destruct by remote control. Oh, two hours, okay. Oh, and John, don't take that cannon you usually carry for a gun. It'll blow a hole right through the hull of the ship. You'll have to take one of those new limited energy pulse lasers. They should, oh, that was too quick. If you have any problems, contact us on the subspace radio. And John... Good luck. SI Chief Ricker, signing out. Yeah.
Okay, I think that's intro. That oh no, there's a little bit of intro. Okay, let's press spacebar to play or press R to replay introduction. Let's get this going. Oh, no, I'm in the wrong window. Now we're in the right window. Please insert disk one. Press joystick button when ready. I thought we were, uh, I thought we were in disk one. Let's check. Oh, we weren't in disk one. Uh, apologies for that flashing image there. Let's get disk one up. Oh no, have I, have I messed it up? Oh, I I do apologise. Let's let's hide that for a second because that's very distracting. While I sort this out, I think we're back. It's certainly loading something. Hey, it is working. This is our person. All right, I'm gonna press one of the, the keyboard commands. Uh, now I'm in the wrong window again. One of the keyboard commands to go to the disk menu. Because we're gonna save. We're definitely gonna save here. And then after we've saved, I'm gonna see if I can sort out the spam in chat because I am moderating myself. Oh, no, I do, okay. Uh, now I need to attach the image of a save disk and do this uh, let's say this is game one notice the smooth motion with which my cursor uh, tra travails traverses the screen it's quite delightful isn't it I am I have because this is a very particular type of game I have dug out the old the old joystick for this one so I've got a keyboard joystick and mouse for the other things set up uh, please insert disk zero. I think I know what that one is. Right, that should do that. There we go. So we are going to have to do this every time we save, uh, just to let you know. Um, yeah, so I'm, I've got the old Logitech Attack 3 out. It's got um, several times more buttons than it needs for Commodore 64 emulation, but it seems to be working. Right, disk number one, uh, that's this one. And then press the joystick button when ready, fire. There we go, excellent. I'm just gonna press the disk menu to pause because uh, I suppose we should note what time we start at because it'll be two hours from then when we explode. Um, which will not be ideal. There we go. Ha ha ha. I have the power of moderation now. Uh, which I will be using um, with... <laughs> with a distinct uh, lack of caution. So um, let's, let's continue playing this game. I'll crank the old joystick down to there. Okay. Uh, I think we've got, we've got the right disk right we should be on the right disk right starting time 1307 um, so we've got until yeah we've got until three o'clock really um, okay so uh, this is very beautiful I hope you'll agree um, using using the limited color palette of the c64 um, which has some like some interesting um, muted tones compared to say the standard EGA palette of um, DOS games, um, and and it's a nice streamlined interface. So we've got two bars of arrows on the bottom of the screen. Uh, one is how many shots we've got left, which is so resource management for survival horror, good good idea. And one is our health, how many health points we have. So I think we've probably got. Probably the one on the left is shots, and the one on the right is health. 
if this is horrific uh, in the way I think it will be. And I'm just I just crank the uh, crank the key the key <laughs> the key stick uh, the the joystick to um, to move left and right. It's kind of isometric, so you kind of go up and down, but at an angle. When we get to that, and then if you want to do an uh, an action, you'll be prompted uh, with a, a question as to what you want to do, and then I think you can just interact by using the trigger on the or button or trigger on your joystick, and then keep going. So I've tested this out a little to to make sure everything was working, and. Uh, and look at that look at that beautiful spaceship in the background there SSF Exis um, this is some kind of elevator I believe uh, so I know these two rooms are, are okay and there's only one place to go here which is hang on let me select level two there we go seen this before so I wasn't entirely shocked um, I am very impressed that, that person managed to write danger a very unhelpful message in their own blood um, as they um, presumably expired from um, from lack of blood I don't think we can do interact with this uh, with this body in any way um, it's the the isometric movement is a little tricky yeah I don't think we can um, yeah, so uh, I guess I should have given you a little content warning before. So there's going to be some um, pixelated, as in pixel graphic, um, blood and gore, I think. Not, perhaps not to a, a, an extreme extent, but it, it is there. And there'll be um, a, I guess, sustained peril um, for for our character who's, who's in game play. Um, right, I'm going to hold there. I'm not going to worry about. We'd, we're almost certainly going to perish. This is our first attempt. I'm going to have a look at the, the map. Oh, you know what? I was wrong. So, on the left, the bar on the left is the health, and the bar on the right is the laser energy. Um, and the countdown timer clock is counting up, so I guess it's a clock. Um, right. Uh, the faxed, I've got the faxed map and it doesn't look very helpful. Um, it's not very well labelled. It doesn't seem to have a key. So that's not really very helpful. I'll try and make sense of it as we go along. Um, how do I work out where I am now? I'm on level 2. Oh, I suppose that is 1, 2. Cryo? Where is Cryo? What, how do I know where I, how do I know what goes to where map all right we need to find something there's no like the the person in the message said there's no yellow mark on my map on my in my manual um I feel like we should go right where this arrow is I think the arrow shows a hidden doorway let's see uh, I don't want to close it I want to go through let's hope there are no corridor u okay Sort them out. So I suppose if you were playing this, oh, I think I found you. That's the ter terrarium support. Terrarium. Um, okay. Corridor U. Oh yes, yeah, so there's four rooms off corridor U. Uh, so we know what the one is that we just came through. Let's see what's in here. Is it? Hang on. There we go. Is it something horrifying? It's some TNT! That's exciting. Um, can I get guns? Take a new laser. Yeah. Taken. Um, I think there's a command to change. Oh. How do you get to take? I mean, we've got two, so that's pretty good. Um, there's a command for changing weapons. Okay, so we can, let's see what happens when we press, no, I'm in the wrong, let's see what happens when we press C. Oh, I think we need to step away from that, and then press C. Oh, okay. Uh, 
I'm not sure how we... Oh yeah, if I keep pressing C it toggles between the two, but both are the same model and are both fully charged. But you know what, it probably won't hurt to have two, will it? Um, what can we do with the TNT? Because that seems like that would destroy some um, horrible genetic experiments that now want to kill me. No, can I? Well, you know what, we're only at the start. What happens if you shoot the TNT? Oh. Oh. Well, that makes sense. I guess that's prob probably the um, <laughs> probably the death animation in all cases. Which I, I would have thought it'd be slightly more explosive in um, in this particular case. There we go. But we know we know we have information now. Corridor U. Get some guns. Uh, please insert disc one. I think that is that. Well, uh, let me double check that it is because I don't want to get the the purple haze going on again. Uh, that is that is this one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, done. Uh, please insert disc zero. Uh, that's the other one, All right? I'm trying to imagine um, how much the um, the loading and um, changing of cassettes in the C64 would have enhanced or detracted from the suspense of playing this. I think it I think to a certain extent it probably would have enhanced it. Uh please insert disc one so we need to swap over again. Uh, there we go. Just got one ready. Is it I thought we'd have the chance to load. We're getting a little chance to load? Oh, we're just here. Well, I guess it just restarts it, probably. But anyway, let's... Uh, I mean, that is the point at which we saved it anyway, so maybe... If there's only one um, save file, it... <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, it just uh, it just defaults to that one. That could be what it does. So, um, much like I admired, really, in uh, Space Quest 1 when I placed it recently... Um, the this limited um, limited color palette and limited um, limited resolution seem to lend themselves really well to sort of a a, a clinical <gasps> danger a um, a clinical sort of space station environment um, which is rather nice so let's go let's go get another spare gun because that's cool. And theoretically something that could be useful in this game. I suppose I should say by the way that I'm not expecting this to be a full playthrough. This is my this is my first time with this game. And uh Okay. Um yeah, and this is just kind of a stream to test it out. I'm not particularly good with um spooks, frights, gore, horror in general. Um, if you'd seen a recent episode of the adventure game Amazon that I posted on YouTube, reactivate laser gate. Oh, interesting. You can trap somebody in here, maybe. Um, yeah, I managed to get um, jump scared by by point and click adventure game uh, from the from 1999. Oh. Yeah, so that would hold something in there, which is interesting. Um, one thing I've noticed about this is that the room orientation is all over the place, so working out like what leads where might take some mental work or some pen and paper. Ooh, pen and paper mapping. Look at this. This is delicious. Look at this. Look at these graphics. 
Like, can I interact with these? No. So this is CCTV, so it's showing you various areas of the station. Can I interact with this one at the end? No. Alright, so this is kind of the command centre, isn't it, by the looks of it. Uh, well, I, I enjoyed seeing all those rooms and blow myself up with some TNT. Which seems an odd thing to have in big piles in your space station, I, I must I must say. Right, but that's a dead end, so... And I kind of know where I am on the map. So we, we exited that. I'm going to check the map again. And now we're in a... Looks like what's going to be a long corridor. So... Okay, I think it's... Oh, I see. So the yellow path is actually what is shaded yeah, sort of a uh, red hatching on my actual map here so I'm going down this long corridor and I'll go like halfway down it and then go through here I think time 1310 ah oh, that's nice it's got a live timer so, should we start let's stop and read this I think it's worth it eat it Joe's <laughs> that's um Today's movie, Sky Fox 2, only 2, temperature 23 degrees Celsius, it's positively balmy in here, so that's nice, like that, so, okay, so there's two, two little rooms here, and I want to go, oh, the two little elevators here, and I want to go to this one, we're going to finish this game in no time. Um, I haven't even seen an alien yet. Oh, I suppose they're um, experiment subjects, aren't they? Which is quite troubling. Um, we, I think we need to go to level three. Oh, oh, okay. We should insert another disc. Um, attach disc image. Yes, we want to do that. Um, and it was number two. Oh, the um. The elevator noise has continued ominously in the background. I um one thing I haven't mentioned, but oh oh heck, um I I should is um the wonderful soundtrack for this, given the relative um relative limitations of uh the C sixty four, I mean that the opening sort of credits music was, was pretty um pretty striking, wasn't it? And there was a, a great kind of Doppler effect as as um, the siren faded away. So from here, I'm supposed to go left um, towards the labs. So do we think that's going to be all right? I'm sure it'll be fine. Down this long corridor. Corridor L. It's not marked on my map if it's corridor L or not. Um, right, there's a lift there to 3, 4. So, uh, I think I need to do... These are the fire start labs. So I guess I'm finding out what's happening here. Um, pray for me, everybody. I'm going to hide the map again. Oh, again for a second because I need to see chat. Uh, this looks like something I can interact with. No? I think we can pick up items, but I'm not quite sure. I'm assuming I just sort of butt up against them and it will give me a prompt. I love that pale pale cyan used for the chairs. That's amazing. Um, I like, uh, as, as well as the musical stings that are really good, I like the oppressive atmosphere of there not being... Uh, an ambient soundtrack most of the time, just just kind of the sound of footsteps. Um, I don't appear to be able to do anything in there, although I feel like that's it's there for a purpose. Maybe we need to get a tape or something first. Right, so there's another room here that we can look in. Ah, well, you know what? This seems to tell a tale, doesn't it? To be honest, um, can I do anything with this? No. It looks like it's a gun. Can I take the ID card? Okay, I don't see an ID card, but I will. Taken. Okay. Take a new laser. Sure. 
You can't carry any more lasers. Oh, okay. I only have two. Um, so I won't do that. Can I go in the experiment chamber? That's what that looks like. No. Um, well, hang on. Let's just... Let's... So we do a little save. Oh. Okay. That just happens if you're... Oh, sorry, everybody. That just happens if you're on the wrong disc when you want to save. Apparently. So we need the other one. Let's try that. Okay, this should be better. Okay, there we go. Um, save the game. Please insert data disk. I'm just gonna do that. Uh, this is number two. Okay, I think it's doing it. Yeah, I think the having to wait actually uh, definitely furthers the sense of uh, sense of dread that I, I'm feeling at the moment. I think I think I inserted the right thing. Right, and then uh, just make sure we've got the right thing here. That should be correct. Let's see if it worked. It did. Great, and we've got two lasers. Yeah, perfect. Okay, well, uh, I will go have take a second to look at the map as well. So this is, uh, I think the ch the chamber that we can see that looks like something exploded out of it is labelled on the map as Firebox. This is observation that we're in. A uh, video was next door, which we've seen. And uh, next is lab. So if we go through here, we should see lab. I'm sure this will be fine. Oh, it's not. Oh, look, this. Take the science log tape. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, oh, ooh, that was nice, nice little, oh, there's a, take the ID card, okay, we've got several ID cards, um, is there, I feel like this, there's a little flashing access computer, okay, oh, no, hang on, it's happening again, uh, sorry everybody, I thought it would actually tell you when you needed to, uh, change over every time but apparently not every time and apparently there's a space vehicle reversing outside as well which is fun ooh nice we get a little interactable okay well let's hopefully nothing will uh, try and uh, well, this is going to be difficult to do with the okay <laughs> oh can I not type in a number with my okay the um, when it goes, it goes, but moving millimeters. Oh, there you go. Current message. I got it. Um, 22nd of March, 61, 1456. Maintenance test of cryogenic hibernation systems completed. All systems operational. Next. Uh, 14th of July, 1961, 2061, 1731. Warning. Lead glass in nucle nucleics. Viewing room is faulty. Uh, radiation level may be lethal if shield is raised. Um, 12th of September, 61. Uh, 8 10. Yellow alert. There's a problem in the Firestart labs. Unauthorized personnel will not be allowed to enter the area. Security, please report to the labs. Uh, <laughs> later that day? Uh, later that morning? Red alert. Red alert. Creatures from Firestart Labs have broken out of containment. All personnel man your stations. This is not a drill. 14th of uh, September. 10. Weekly routine maintenance report. Pending. Broken nucleic glass. New. Waste pod full. That's ominous. Uh, 16th of September. Uh, 13.04. Docking Bay 1. Activity detected. Okay, so it's like... 
interesting, but some of it seemed like just sort of computer generated. Um, that was us, wasn't it? Uh, presumably in the docking bay. Fire start notes. Oh gosh, I need to. Oh no, I need to do the thing. Okay. Well, that's a bit silly. Okay. Um, there we go. I think. Is this gonna work? Okay, here we go. Um, right, 11th of February, 61. Today, the genetic reshaping project began. Our goal is to produce a mining worker. This worker must be strong, docile, and able to work in rare atmospheric conditions, less than 0.1 micrograms of oxygen per litre. You must also be extremely tolerant of sub-zero temperatures down to minus 25 degrees Celsius. As per the GLL, this entity must not be capable of further cloning or replication. 13th of February, 61. The Oxen DNA and accompanying material have been sub-microcloned, reshaped and recombined with the chromosomes of the asteroid belt fungi E. Coromini. If my hypothesis is correct, this will provide the needed strength, atmospheric and temperature tolerances. Uh, 14th of February, 61. Primary cell has successfully undergone initial mitosis. Chromosomes along the equatorial plate are properly lined up and spindle fibres are present. You need spindle fibres. Uh, later that day, uh, a blastula has formed. If the embryo can make it past the early na neural plate stage, we'll be out of the woods. Later that day, success! An early neural plate with a true notochord is present. Proper location of meso, endo, and ectoderm confirmed. The reshaping was successful. I christened the new entity A. Promiveriate? Uh, 20th of March, 61. The embryo is now visible to the naked eye. All nervous and organ systems are undergoing expected development. Today, the transfer from highly controlled culture to the life support tubes was a success. 20th of May, 61. The embryos are growing at an incredible rate and now weigh 20.46 kilograms. At this rate, the birthing process will occur in about three weeks. 15th of June, 61. Today, we underwent successful removal of first embryo from life support to an oxygen-based environment. Specimens picked up the nickname Fred. Okay, that doesn't seem so scary, does it, Fred? Um, the 1st of September, 61. Fred now weighs 203.43 kilograms and is ready for stress tests. I'm worried about these stress tests. Uh, 5th of September, 61. Fred died from... Oh, Fred! Fred died from temperature stress tests at minus, degree, minus 5 degrees Celsius. This setback was entirely ex unexpected since the E. Corom Coromini genetic material should have provided temperature tolerance. 8th of September 61. The docility of A. Promivariate is not what it should be. Since the death of Fred, we have had to move the other specimens into a heavy restraint and sedation situation to continue stre stress testing. Specimen strength is incredible, measuring up to 1,500 kilograms per square centimetre. Now, to me, that suggests uh, a level of sapience um, that perhaps they should be concerned about. Uh, this is the 10th of September, 61. Sid and Marty have succumbed to further stress tests, signalling the near-complete failure of Firestart. Strangely, too much oxygen killed Sid, slightly higher than background radiation destroyed Marty. 12th of September, 61. Jack broke his shackles today and began pounding on the carbon glass in the firebox. Sedation gas is no longer effective and he can't bring Jack under control long enough to destroy him. I don't know how much longer the firebox will hold him. Tw later that day, the 12th of September, Jack just broke out the firebox. May mankind forgive me for what I've done. A promovariate can replicate... <laughs> is this a transcription of an audio? log um because otherwise why would you type an ellipsis <laughs> oh you made me laugh game all right log out
Can I get to log out? That's the question. Have I got enough fine fine manipulation in this particular joystick to, to yeah, there we go. Okay, I think we should save. I feel like we should save. Oh no, it's doing it again. My apologies. Um, without warning. Okay, we're back. Right, we want to save. Uh, no, I haven't inserted the data disk yet. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it now. Uh, should we say this is two as well? I feel like this is. I think that that's okay. I think we've done. I think what the game expects to do for the first little bit. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do, having found out that everything's gone wrong. Um, right, disk zero. I mean, you think probably just evacuate and then leave, because they're going to remotely detonate the station anyway. I guess you could send a message maybe to um, detonate sooner once we're safely out. That would be good. I think we're all sorted. Right, disk number two. This is quite arcane, isn't it? I mean, it does it does kind of appeal to me as an old school experience that you have to do like five five different disk changes. Um, right, so if I've memorized the map correctly, we need to go out here now. Uh, if I can angle myself correctly. Come on. Here we go. Um, the fact that it asks you whether you want to close doors is interesting as well. Um, oh, there's, uh, there's some uh, there's some tension music playing. I'm not sure I enjoyed that particularly. Let's go back in the video room. Well, I'm sure everything is fine. Okay, so I should be able to use this VCR. Oh, hang on, what's happening? Meanwhile... Oh! <gasps> what is this? And that person in a... In a cryo chamber? Okay. The plot thickens. Play the tape in the VCR? Yeah, I'll do that. Playing. Are we gonna get to see what it is? Looks like data on the specimens. Minus five degrees Celsius. Radiation. I like how how um okay, take the science log tape. Okay. That's interesting. So I thought that would credit deactivation detected. Oh, Hang on. I'm gonna. This time is of the essence. I'm gonna disk it. Uh, I remembered to. Take it off screen first before it did that flashing thing. Right, so uh, I'm pausing the game effectively to have a look. So, Cryo, where is Cryo? Oh, that's somewhere else entirely. That's level one. So level, I think level one was kind of technically where we were with our shuttle. But we didn't have access to the full, the full extent of level one. Okay, I think I know what we need to do. Um, we're also asked to go to the bridge, though. That's interesting. Um, okay, I like this. I think this is a really interesting bit of storytelling. Um, and now I can actually read the map and I've got some idea of what it's showing me. Um, I feel like I kind of know where, where I'm going as well. So, okay, 
Um, in theory, there is an elevator right next to us where we could go up to the bridge and environmental control, um, which might be the thing to do. Um, that's certainly the route we're supposed to take, but would it not be better to go to cryo itself to see what that what's happening to that person? I feel like it should be. So what we need to do in that case is go a little bit further down, back down the corridor to get to the elevators that go um, through all levels. That's what we need to do. So, oh, this, this is intriguing me. This is intriguing me. Let me hide this map again. So I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, so let's cancel. Oh, hold on. This might not, it might not like this when I press cancel. Oh no, it's right, it's being it's behaving itself, look. So this is what we want. I think. Okay, let's see if this plan works. So we're gonna ignore that elevator. Oh holy heck. That's amazing. Okay. Uh Oh no, what am I going to do? Can I shoot it? Oh. Okay. Ah! I can't wait! <gasps> this is very exciting. Okay, I got through that one. Okay. So, is this... Hang on. I thought there was... This should be able to go to one. But let's go down to... No! No! Why are there aliens here? No! No! Why does it take so long? I think I perished. Oh my goodness. Well that... Hang on, don't do that. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. You might have detected a certain sense of panic there. Um, that was... Um... <laughs> that was to be expected, I suppose. Wow, okay. I think maybe you are supposed to go... Well, you know what? While, while this is saying the end, let's have a look. Have a look at this map that I've got here. Yeah, so level three where we are, the two, I think the two elevators that we had there should have been able to take us to levels one and two. I suppose perhaps you have to go to two before. Yeah, I don't know why this, I don't know why one said three and one said two. Confusing, isn't it? Um, right, I'm gonna, uh, I think this is probably gonna go a bit funny again when I try and load up. Let's see if it does. It's okay at the moment. Okay, alright. We're just, just gonna relax a little bit. And we'll try that again. Right, let's see if it gives us the option of what we would like to load this time. Uh, disk zero, that would be the other one. That would be this one. Yes, thank you. Uh, disk, disk one, okay. Uh, it might just restart you at the beginning and then you have to load from there. That's what I'm thinking is what it does. Which means having to go through the disk loading process two times. Yes, yes, that's exactly what it does. Fantastic. Right. Oh, blimey, everything's happening. Church, space church bells are going off now, yeah? Right. Um, 
Okay, data disk. Yep, that's my data disk. Uh, to I did say load, didn't I? Yeah. To please insert disk zero. Very well, we will do that. Done. Okay. Yep, just just put them just hanging on. Just hang on. Okay, disk two, yeah, I can do that. That's fine. Uh yeah, this should this should do. So it should be us in the, the, yeah, the lab, brilliant, okay. Right, so we'll try that again. Maybe we will try going up to the fourth floor, level four. I wonder if you can make friends with the, uh, with the, um, the victims of the experiments. Right, well now I know it's going to come, the shock is going to come, hopefully I'm not going to be too shocked. Ah. Right, I'm, I think three shots was what it took to... Oh, okay. Oh yes, but I didn't do the videotape thing. Interesting, so it's time based rather than event based. Trying to get through here. Oh, I've got like a victory music. It's level four. Interesting. The other, um, the other creation didn't turn up, did it? Right. What are we supposed to do here? I wonder. Uh, no. Uh, anything? This computer looks no. How about this computer? How about this doorway? Ooh, static sound. Credo deactivation de detected. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Uh. Okay. I like the victory sound. Use the radio. Okay. Let's use the radio. Oh, no. Okay. The radio. Um, okay, we're using the radio. No, we're not. Oh no, it went wrong. We're using the radio now. Yes, we're using the radio now. It's it's all fine. Oh, tuning in to HQ Nexus. Ah, you have reached US system base nexus. Please state your needs. This is definitely Rescope, isn't it? Report mission progress. Um, I have found the science log. Well done. Now set self-destruct. Prometheus out. Okay. I, th I think they knew it went wrong, didn't they? System base nexus signing out. Okay. Interesting. Okay, can I, are we going back to, hang on, I think we might need to, we're we going back to the room, are we going to, oh we are, we're fine, okay, good. Um, where is self-destruct, and how long does it give us? Oh, hang on, what's this, access computer, yeah? No, oh, no, no. I think this should be okay. Okay. Oh, yay. <laughs> Would you like to, current messages or set self-destruct, sir? Okay, current messages. 
Maintenance test of cryogenic hibernation systems completed. All systems operational. Was this the same? Oh, this is the same thing. Interesting. As we got in the other office. All right, main menu. Let's just set the self-destruct then. Um, and then we need to get down to um, cryo. Because if there's a person in there, we want to save them. Uh, operation cannot be reversed. Proceed. Okay, 25 minutes. Oh, that's plenty. Um, right. Uh, uh, I might take a few minutes to log out, though. No? Okay, just that. that. Okay, is something creepy going to happen now? Right, let's do another save. Hang on, I'm not in the right window. I think I feel like a save now would be prudent. Well, I think we're going to complete this game, personally. I think this is going to be fine. Uh, three? Yeah. Um, disk zero. Bear with me just a moment. I think this is working well. Uh, please insert disk two. So. You know what, I won't press the button just yet because what I really need right now is a comfort break. So let's leave everything in a little little element of suspense and I'll leave you with the, uh, the ambient music here for your enjoyment. Back in a moment. I'm back, folks. Um, uh, yes, so I'm going to have another look at the map. I think before we uh, we go to plan my route so we are up on the bridge we need to head back the way we came I think I head down to level one and then go left to cryogenics um, there's a lift I'm not sure where there's our shuttle are there any escape pods or anything Not that I can see. Um, you have to. Oh, a little hint here. You have to find medical attention if you want to regain lost health points. If you ignore a wound, it won't get any worse, but it won't get any better either. Um, is there some kind of medical centre on the map? There isn't, no. There are lots of unnamed rooms, though. I suppose that. They've got to leave some surprises, haven't they? Right, well, let's get back to it. Here we go. Um, uh, press the joystick button when ready. I s no! <laughs> Why? Why? Okay, we've got 25 in-game minutes. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, this is the other room in this. Is this going to have a scary monster in it? No, it doesn't. Ah, it, do it does now. Okay. Uh, this doesn't seem to be working particularly well. And don't walk into them because you die. You know what? I think we won't go into that room. I think we just won't go into it. Sorry, you missed my death sequence there. Right, we'll go through the disc operation one more time. And we won't go into that room. That's what that's what we're gonna say. 
on it. There, yep, yeah, this should do it. Right, I'm gonna put this off screen because it's probably gonna do a bit of flashing. No, we're we're alright for the moment. So we want this and to press this. And then we want to change that to this and say OK about it. And then Uh, we want to do this again. I'm a little confused as why we have to do three disc swaps just to restart the game. But apparently we do. Right. This is gonna No, I think we should I think we should be alright. I think it's just when we get to the actual um, loading up of our save point, whether we're on the right disc or not, as to whether the, the flashing will happen. Okay, disc zero, let's try that. That's one. The suspense is killing me. All this hot loading action. Um, right. You know, I'm gonna turn it off preemptively just in case something flash. No, I think we're good actually. Let's see, yeah. No, no. Oh, oh, what? Do, uh, no, what? Why is oh no, did I save instead of load? That would be a shame, wouldn't it? Have we have we lost our progress? But no, we loaded it. No, we didn't load it, we just came back to where we were. Let me try that one more time. Did I at some point I've probably accidentally saved it instead of loaded it, haven't I? Because my mind's wandered while going through this laborious process. That's what I'm thinking has happened. Unable to load game. That doesn't sound great, does it? Oh, uh, we need the data disk though, don't we? And I didn't do that. Hang on, I'm gonna try it one more time. Um, and if we're back at the start, then I know I've messed up, which is kind of a shame. But we can replay this quite quickly, I think. I don't think you you probably don't need to read the logs for progress, is what I'm hoping. Doesn't feel like the game's going to keep track of that. Okay, if we're back at the start, something has gone wrong. We'll try loading save game 2 instead. Yeah, oh dear, sorry folks, I messed up didn't I? You'll probably be able to see on the on the, um, the VOD what happened there. I do apologise. Uh, let's load... Heck, let's load... This one. Number two. Where did the, where had number two got us to? Oh, after we'd got the tape. So we still got a chance to go up, I think. Um, so we haven't missed out much. But just some hairy combat, I suppose. Um, that's this one. A 
This is going to take a minute. Okay. Uh, number two. Uh, this one. No. Don't do that. You mean we actually needed a different disc? You little... Right, so this should be in the lab office, if that save took. It did! Okay. Alright. So in that case, we're going to get some scary music and an encounter through here. We still need to go up to the top. As quick as we can. Alright. As soon as we get the jump scare. Yep. Stop. Shoot. No. Well, this is not as easy as last time. No, I don't want to take any damage, thanks. Ah, okay. Yay! Victory! Okay, right, let's go up here. The is coming. No! Right, I don't think you can get me through the door. Alright, they're probably just going to keep coming. I'm selecting four. Okay. Right, so there's no... Is there a scare in here? I can't remember. Oh, there is when we get to the next room, I remember. Yeah, so this is a cryo chamber drama that we need to try and resolve, if we can. So let's just get straight through here and fight this... this one that's going to come in. And we can do the radio and the self-destruct. Let's get down... Right, uh, up here, and then here, and then here. No, is it not going to do it? Well, it's not going to do it while I'm doing the radio, is it? No! Thank you. No! Why does it do that? I change forward I change to one and I change back again and then it works. Tuning into HQ Nexus. I really like this graphically. This is beautiful. Uh, you have reached US system base Nexus. Please state your needs. Report mission progress. I have found the science log. Well done. Now self destruct. Prometheus out. System base Nexus signing out. I suppose there's not much more to say than that, really, is there? Right, can I make it to... No, I can't go that way to... the computer. That's int Well, no. It's interesting, because we haven't had an another encounter with... Uh, with one of the test subjects. So that makes me think that they are randomized somewhat. Right, let's just set self destruct. Can be reversed. Let's proceed. Right. Log out. There we go. And then I'll try and save. Okay, lovely. Um, no, no! I was pressing D! I, no, no, no! This is terrible. This is. I'm gonna die. Mmm. Mmm. I didn't enjoy that. Didn't enjoy that bit of randomization. Well. There might be a timer, I suppose. 
and two of them, like, what's that about? All right. Well, we're gonna have to re replay that again, which is rather frustrating. If this, if it was, if it was quicker to save, I'd save more frequently, room by room. But unfortunately, it is not. It may have tipped over into frustration now. What? What's happening? This is confusing. Does it try and auto? It seemed like it was trying to auto load that time, which is curious. Oh, just auto load the highest number, I suppose? But it should really give you the choice. Right, we'll try it. Okay, disk zero. Because you can just go into a Zen state, hopefully, with all this loading. Um, right, this should be the correct one. I'm going to turn it off just in case. It tries to give you flashing lights. No, we're good. We're good. All right. We're trying this, the same thing. Open door. Go through the door. Get to the elevator. that somehow. Hopefully we should be able to get in before the next one crawls out of the lab. I'm not sure where they're hiding though. No, that's fine, that's fine. You know what, I might try saving it in this room, because that might save us a little bit of... To oh, no, okay, wait until the cutscene is over. So who's the person who is beside the cryopod, I wonder? Can I, oh no, I'm in the wrong window. Can I disc here? I can, but it's not gonna like it. Okay. Uh, and we do this, and we do this. Everything should look lovely. Yes, okay. Uh, we're going to save the game. Right, the data disk is here. This is the thing. Uh, we want to save. We're going to save it as number three, please, because that would be more useful than what we've currently got saved as number three. Disk zero, okay. We can we can accommodate that requirement. Disk number two, uh, which would be that. Fingers crossed. You should hopefully know which disk number it needs to load to. Right. So, do I do the... 
radio. I suppose I do. No, no, I forgot. I forgot. It should be the radio. Oh no, it's not. It's not. No, I forgot. I forgot twice. Oh my goodness. I forgot it wants to change and then it doesn't want to change. Tuning into ne HQ Nexus. Okay, let's report mission. Pro oh no, I'm in the wrong window again. Report mission progress. No, report mission. Report mission progress. I have found the science log. Well done. Now set self destruct. Prometheus out. System base nexus signing out. Okay, well now I'm gonna go here, obviously, and go. No! <laughs> Why must every terminal do this to me? Do this. I think this just needs the one change though, and I think we're good. Uh, let's just set the self destruct. Let's just, yeah, proceed, that's fine. I'm glad there's no, like, special key required or passcode or anything or you know um, any kind of fail safes I'm glad there's none of those things right so this is the furthest we've ever got no what why is it this should be the same disc right should this not be the same disc okay uh the Hold on. No, I'm trying to say, I'm trying to save it. You know what? The C64 is even more horrifying than the monsters themselves, or just as horrifying. All right, I think we got lucky on the timings or randomization there, so that's good. Oh, the piece of paper with some notes on is falling over. That's not very helpful. Um, let's do the, uh, no, we want the save disk, don't we? We want that one. Uh, we want Adusus 3 again. Right, disk 0. Disc two. Yep, yeah, that should do it. Ready, everybody? Right. So I'm just going to peg it for the elevator that. Oh, yep. Yeah. No, no, sorry, I'm going down. Uh, thanks. Two of them. Okay. Okay, I'm pressing the. I'm jamming the button. There we go. I lose interest when you go downstairs. Right, now is anybody here? Not right now, that's good. Hopefully there's nobody coming from this direction. Um, but if it's like last time, there'll soon be lots of aliens crowding into this particular foyer. So we need to go straight for this door, if we can work out how to get the thing to do that. There we go. Okay. Oh, just, oh, okay. Go to. Oh, level one. Yes, please. Level one. Level one. Level one. Okay, good. Please insert disc number three. Okay. Well, so far, this run has been slightly better. So I'm encouraged by that. 
Right, so I'm just going to have this map up here on the side, so I can't see the chat for a second. Why is somebody doing that? I just need to go as far this way as I can. This just leads directly to cryo. Through this door. I don't like this, don't like this music at all. It's very anxiety inducing. No! 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 Okay, cool. Can I interact with this person? Of the crowd chamber, yes. I hid from the Holocaust because of my injury. Okay, are you coming with us? Oh, uh, have you seen him? Oh, a person. I missed that bit of dialogue. Can we go this way? Is this good or is this bad? There should be a, an elevator here. Can we get you in here? Okay, we're going in together. Go to level two. I don't know what happens if we go to level two. Let's find out. It's the cargo bay on the map, so it might be the pod. Uh oh. Uh oh, sugar. Okay. Uh, no, you need to not perish, ideally. Um, what's happening? No, why are we loading? No! Why did you perish? Am I still in the same... Yep, okay. So I guess you just, um, just died. Okay, um, what's through here then? So I know what's through here. Oh, okay. Some kind of what is this? Can I go through here? Open waste disposal door. Can I go in? What happens there? Ah! Oh, oh. Oh, no, this was a bad decision. Okay, I think we're good. Well, I'm not... Maybe that wasn't the right way to go. Um... I feel like that's... I don't know. Well, should we see what happens if we just try and get back to our shuttle? We could try, we could try that. Um, and see if that's an ending that you can get. I don't feel great about the idea of it, but we can try it. Right, I'm going to take that off the screen for a second while we try and load a save game. See if it did save what I had done. Um... I think it's okay at the moment. Oh, this is a nerve-wracking game. It's it's effective. It's effective for me. Um, I do really love it's um, how integrated the gameplay and the the story are. I think they work. They work hand in hand um, in quite a fluid way um it puts me in mind of um games like karatika karatika um which is kind of uh, minimal minimal controls minimal interface um fighting action game and another world which is kind of a contextual platformer which is it's very difficult um but um highly narrative if you have the ability to make it work um yeah i definitely put it in in a group with those things and obviously um uh, prince of persia as well the early prince of persia's right i think we need this one
Right, highly stressful. Highly stressful. No, why is this here? Does it not, does, does slot three not work? We definitely saved it in the right place. We definitely saved it in the right place. I suppose the worst, if the worst comes to the worst. Um, we can probably load number two up and just see if we can get through the radio and self-destruct. And then try and leg it to the shuttle. Just to see if there's um, an ending there. But there could, there could be an ending there. Um, it seems like it's going to be very difficult to try and um, escort that person anywhere. I mean, in theory they could go to our shuttle, couldn't they? But I don't know how... Oh, it, it did save us. It did save our progress. Which is pretty amazing. Pressing 3, I'm jamming 3. Alright, let's see if we get as lucky with everything going on. The same as it did before. We'll try. We'll try our shuttle and see if that that is a a possibility. Okay, we want to get to this thing. Oh, uh, there we go. Use elevator. Elevator's coming. Get in. Go to level t two. I think we need two, don't we, to get back to our shuttle. From two. Right, I'm glad you're giving me a countdown, but I'm trying to use the elevator. Well, that took a while. At least you know you can hide in elevators, I suppose. Um, right, disc one. Right, so we came this way. Let's head back where we came. This way. I don't like the sound of that music. That's danger music. Right, through here, please. Oh, that was not where we came. This way. Oh, did we come through this? Yeah, we did. Okay. No! <sighs> Aliens! Oh! Oh, that's a really good effect! What does that mean? What? Oh! Okay! Our shuttle got destroyed, did it? What? No, come on! Right, I can't do anything here, can I? Oh, you pesky game. Alright, so you can't go back. So you probably do need to find an alternative exit in the cargo bay, don't you? 
All right, that's good to know. Can I change my weapon to one? Yeah, it's got full power. Yeah, let's do that. No, I don't want to fight any more aliens, thanks. Uh, let's get to level two. Level two, please. Level level two. Level two, please. Level two. I love the um. I love the storytelling here. This is brilliant. But also, I'm very annoyed that this is taking so long to move. Is it doing it on purpose, or is it is there genuinely like a control issue there? I can't tell. Right. Uh, are we going to go back the way we came? Which is to say, we need to get to the lifts. There's a lot more shooting in this than I thought there would be. Did, is this the right way? Have I gone the right way? No, I haven't gone the right way. Where was the lift? Was it the door in the middle? Well, now I'm getting lost. Well, meanwhile, what's happening? What's happened to this person? Are they going to perish? The game definitely wants me to to go and see them, doesn't it? I'm trying, but also I'm a little bit lost and a little bit panicked because the game is has a palpable atmosphere of danger. That is also happening. Yeah, is this the elevator? Am I in the right place? Am I even in the right place? Oh, okay, we need to go through here and then to the elevator. Okay, gotcha. Uh, well, let's go in here. This can take us to one, right? Okay, let's go to one. That ha we'll work straight away. Train it takes extra time if you're uh, butting up against a monster. Is that what's happening? Um, hang on, we wanted. What did we want? Disc three. Okay, it's this one. Um, right. Okay. I like the um. I like the. Oh. Uh oh. What's happening, Cryo? Do you need to get to Cryo super quick before? The, oh. <gasps> this is very exciting. I love this storytelling. Right, this is Cryo. Ah! Okay. No! There should not be two of you. That is not... That is not just or fair. Are you going to be there when I come back in? Wow, that was... That's not really good. Uh, open the cryo chamber, sure. Right, let's see if we can read the dialogue this time. I hid from the Holocaust because of my injury. Anar must have made it. I was in say, have you seen him? Oh, as in survived. Well, there was a person hanging around in the cutscene. Come this way, please. Um, I feel like we probably do need to take this lift. 20 minutes around 19 minutes. Okay, it shows you the changeover. Right, let's get in this lift. Um, there will be there will be monsters. That is not good. Um, I'm thinking we need to not go to waste disposal. We need to go the other way. And there's probably a pod. Have I got enough shots to... Uh, let's see. Oh, I died. Well, you know what? This game is tricky. Shall 
Should we give it one more shot? I think we can probably. I think I can. My nerves can probably stand one more go. Um, if um, if the tortuous loading process doesn't put me off too much, one more shot. We'll go straight to cryo. I love that how the um, the drama amps up if you take longer to get there. That's fantastic. Um, hold on, no, I need to make sure I'm definitely doing the right disc. It should be this one. Uh, disc zero. Okay, I can I can help with that. Disc three. Oh, I think it might have worked. To to um load the most recent save? Is it just going to work first time? No. Not necessarily. Um, we've got the right... Yeah, that's the right thing. Fingers crossed, everybody. No, it didn't work. We'll do it manually, because at least we know it works manually. At least it has up till this point. So I don't know why it tries to like auto load. It seems like it's trying to auto load, but it doesn't ask for the save disk, which is very confusing. If we just gave us the chance to do this process straight off after the game over, it would it would probably save about five minutes, which would be appreciated. Right, um, this, we want this. Um, even if we don't get a successful conclusion to this story, um, I have very much enjoyed this stream and I've enjoyed the experience of what we've seen in Project Firestar. I think it's really, really evocative. Um, I love how um, condensed it is. Uh, I guess by virtue of it being a um, Commodore 64 game, it wasn't going to be enormous anyway. Um, right, do I remember which way I need to go? This way, I think. Um, but yeah, it makes it a really concentrated um, experience and with the information given actually quite a well-directed narrative. Um, I guess if you um, really couldn't work out the map you would probably have a much more frustrating time. Or if um, if you had got a, uh, a bootleg copy of this with no instruction manual that would probably also have been rather stressful. Right, we want this disc. Alright. Um, here we go. Right, so we're legging it to cryo as fast as we can. We should hopefully shouldn't have to do too much shooting before we get there, which would be good because we were in a bit of a, a raw state by the time we got here last time, having fought off however many dozen monsters. I love how it's always in the room. I'm out. Oh, what? Randomization. Ah, no, don't do that. No. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, let's let's get this poor person out of here. I hid from the Holocaust because of my injury. An arm must have made it. Have you seen him? No. 
I don't know. Is he the one who blew up my ship? He might. He may have been. Are you coming too? Yep. Okay. Let's get in here. Get to level two. I. Th I mean. Game design tells me this should probably be the way to do this. Come on, I'm pressing the thing. Or maybe I need to hold it for longer, maybe I'm panicked. Right. No! Why did everybody jump forward? I'm pretty sure there's a way we can not have this happen, but let's see if we can survive long enough to um, see what's the other side of this door. No, we're probably not going to survive long enough, are we? Never mind. But okay, change weapons. There we go. So we want to see. Oh, there's another one. Two. Right, so, I mean, the music's still going, which is not encouraging. We didn't get the... What? That's just a room full of monsters. That's just a room full of monsters. Oh. This is interesting. Is that game over? Yes. Interesting stills there. So I have a feeling this is probably not the way you want to go. That's what I'm that's what I'm picking up here. You probably want to go the opposite way. Um There are lots of rooms on level one, and they are not the areas are not marked, so you probably do need to investigate that really, don't you? Unfortunately. Yeah, cargo looks cargo bay looks like a dead end probably. Hmm. Well, I think I think that's a suitable suitably horrifying end for this stream, so we'll leave it there. Um I don't I don't know if I'll be brave enough to go back to Project Firestart and try again. I don't know if my nerves will take it. Um but I'm uh very glad to have experienced uh what I have of it. Um I think it's I think it's a real gem actually of its of its time and its era. The controls are a, a little um eccentric because of the time it hails from. Um but if you can get to grips with it and um and have the map. I think it's it's actually a really compelling experience. I've had a I've had a great time. Thank you very much for joining me. Let's take us back to here we go. This one here. Yeah, so that was our second of three Halloween um, inspired horror themed game streams. Uh, with one more coming on Monday the thirtieth of October. That'll be seven PM UK time and for uh uh, and also retro experience, but something uh, in a slightly different vein. We're going to be playing Ripper, uh, an FMV game from the mid '90s, I think it is. Um, it's it's got quite a lot of famous actors in it, uh, including Chris Fork, and who who's the one who probably most most drew me to it. Um, it is it is a um, detective uh, thriller horror cyberpunk kind of thing. Um, and at least as far as I can tell, I've got it working um, through DOS emulation. So we're going to give that little that little uh, experience a run through um, next week. I hope you can join me for that. And if not, uh, these videos are all ending up as vods. They're um, vods on in their raw state on Twitch for a week after broadcast, and then they will be uh, preserved for posterity 
on YouTube thereafter. Um, so go check those out. I will. I usually um, edit them slightly to remove um, the any beginning and outro sections, any little breaks in between. Uh, if anything goes particularly wrong in the middle, I can cut that out as well. Um, usually try and uh, sort out the audio levels a little bit as well, so it's not as rough on the ears as a as a raw stream can be. And um, and yeah, and that's where you can also find lots of other let's plays, including uh, lots of adventure games now. Um, currently playing Amazon, which is um, yeah an interesting interesting first person adventure game from 1999 um, but there's there's lots of old school stuff on there there's some um, some puzzle games uh, there's a little bit of strategy um, a little bit of a role playing as well so if you're into any of those things um, do feel free to check it out and uh, yeah, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and the, the Twitch channel if you'd like to see more of these things. And if you'd like to get a reminder when we're playing Ripper on Monday. Uh, until next time, everybody, take care. Bye bye.